What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial overview of the Odoo CRM platform and its different features. So once you go to their website, that's odoo.com, you'll be redirected to their homepage. Now, Odoo is a CRM or customer relationship management platform that allows you to organize your pipeline for your projects, manage your teams, get more leads and interact with your customers. And that would be obvious once you get to their homepage and you start scrolling, you can view some screenshots here. As you can see, they have like a Kanban view with cards that you can use to organize your business in like and uh, like put projects in different categories, such as new qualified position one. And of course, you can edit these categories if you want to. Now here you can keep the opportunities with you and you can efficiently organize your leads and your uh, projects and never miss out on a follow-up. And here you can get a diagram on how with when the first call, uh, you get the first call from a customer, you can retain this customer by like uh, scheduling appointments, uh, scheduling demos, making reservations, and then closing the deals. And uh, here they can integrate with email. So they can give you like email campaigns, live chat, SMS, uh, and VoIP calls, and many more services. And here they get, they have like more than 12 million users. And you can join them for free. Now, if you go to CRM here, you can see that they have a wide array of services from finance to sales, to website, to uh, marketing. So they have social marketing, email marketing, SMS marketing, and in website, they can uh, help you uh, build a website with the website builder, create a blog, forum, live chat, and many more other services. So let's go ahead and try it for free. And you can, of course, sign in if you already have an account. Now, uh, choose your apps. So um, here, for example, uh, I want to go for CRM. And now here, I say it's free for unlimited users forever. Now, with uh, when you select another app here, they say they give you the price for it. So now the e-learning is uh, free. However, once I increase the number of apps, I can get a trial. So uh, once you increase the number of services that you want, they will uh, start to charge you. Now in marketing, let's say I want email marketing and um, let's uh, deselect the e-learning. And now I want like in the human resources, I want employees, I want attendances. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Now let's continue here. Okay, now that I entered all my details, my name, my email, my phone number, the company name, and as you can see, they generate like a URL based on the company name. That's of course .udo.com. Uh, that will be your main URL. And now the country, language, and number of employees, and the primary interest. Now let's start now. And here my account is created, and now they welcome me to the platform. And now they need to activate, they need to verify my email. So the activation email is now sent. I'll go to my inbox pretty quickly and then uh, activate or click on the activation email. Uh, however, I can start using the service for now. Now here they have discussed calendar appointments. Of course, these icons may vary depending on the services that you chose from the first sign up process. And let's go to sales here, view the sales options. And here I have options to set my company data, enter my company data, document layout, order confirmation, set payments, of course, to, of course, to receive orders and the sample quotations. And uh, here in the sales, I have orders. I can view the quotations, the orders, the sales team, the customers to invoice orders to invoice or upsell. I can view the products. I have reporting and configuration. I can configure my settings, my sales team, my orders and stuff like that. Now let's go back here. And let's go to CRM. And here I need to create opportunity to start playing with my pipeline. So let's here uh, create a new opportunity. Uh, the organization, let's say test or create, let's create test. Okay, let's add it. And now the test opportunity is now added or the opportunity stands for like a deal or a business project. And now I have it in a new, I can move it to qualified proportions, uh, proposition, sorry, uh, one, and I can add new elements here. I can add stages, they call it stages. So let's say failed or lost, for example. Okay. And now the stage is now created. Now I can move this card in like qualified and then proposition. And then let's say I want it. Okay. And I can give it a rating here. 
and I can also uh, give or show the activities or the recent activities and the uh, people who are participating and this is a Kanban view the cards uh, view I can view it in a list view if I want to or in a calendar view if I set up the dates and in a pivot view if I want to as well now let's go back to the Kanban view and here I have sales I have reporting configurations so in sales, I can view my pipeline, my activities, my quotations. So if I click on activities, I have nothing uh, plans for now. Uh, teams, customers, in reporting, I have forecast. I can view the pipelines, the deals, and so on. Now here, there is only one uh, category, one, sorry, activity that I created. That's the test one. I can insert in spreadsheet and I can view some reports. And if we go back here, I can view the main dashboard or the dashboards. Now I have uh, statistics. I haven't had any quotations, any orders, any revenue because of course this is a newly created account. However, I can view the leads. I can view the pipeline. So uh, of course zero, nothing has happened. However, the opportunity here, they said that this is the opportunity that I have and it is won now and by me, by John Smith. And the success rate is 100%. Now, if we go back again, we can go to projects. Of course, these are the uh, tasks or the categories based on the uh, tasks that I selected or uh, the uh, services that I selected that I wanted. Now, in the email marketing, if I go to email marketing, I can create email marketing campaigns to grow my business by attracting more customers. Click here on new to create a mailing. Now I can uh, click on the create the subject. Let's say uh, test subject. And I can here select a template. I like this one. It looks elegant. I can click on it. And once I click on it, I can start editing any element. Now this text, let's say uh, $50 off. Okay, I'll leave it as this. However, I can select the text to edit like the uh, header or the font and the size. The Make it bold, italic, change the font color. Let's make it like this color. And I can change the font type, header to for example make it smaller and I can view here the blocks the different blocks I can customize I click on the block to customize it I can click on the design to edit the design options now this is uh, small or large or I can full make it full to fill in the page uh, the mailing background the content background I can change the content background make it like a pink color for example and uh, change all the headings for the like text here and uh, I can, of course, undo and view how it looks like on mobile phone and expand it if I want to. Now, I let's click on this block here, this button. Uh, I can set the height. I can set the text size and the font and all these settings. And I can make it add the column to the left, to the right, above, below, and so on. So here I can design my email campaign, the mail uh, mailing body. And I can send the message or here uh, go to A-B tests allow A-B testing and go to settings or view the settings right here. So this is uh, how you can create an email marketing campaign. Now let's go back. Okay, now let's go, for example, to project. Okay, no projects. I can create a new project from here. Let's go back and view what else we have. Now we have employees. And I have on there's only one employee, which is me. I can uh, click here to add new employees, add the employee's name, the description, the uh, work information, department, and as many info as I want to. Okay, let's uh, discard it. Okay, let's, let's go back. And for now, I have apps. And this is all the apps that I can install the ones that I selected and the ones that I can add as well. So even if you finish the initial setup process, you can still go back and add as many apps as you want to, even the ones that you didn't select, and they will be added as well to your main dashboard. So let's, for example, add uh, events. And now they're redirecting me to this form to build the app. Let's uh, skip and start from scratch and select the template to build your website. Okay, this one looks good for now. Use this template. Now it's loading up the template. And now the uh, like template is added. I can click on edit to start editing it here in the editor. And now I can click on any block to uh, customize it. Like the banner, for example, I can drag also and drop elements from 
uh, this here, this menu to add it to my website. And I can scroll through the elements that I can add and here editing the website. Now here, this is like in the website uh, or the uh, here, let's save it for now. And here I'm in the website app, I can go back okay and here they give me like a tutorial of the steps that i need to finish like the apps that have unfinished business now you can go ahead and like uh, go through all the apps if you want to and as you can see this is the events app that i installed like a minute ago now um here you can go ahead as you, as i told you and install as many apps as you want and you can go to settings to further edit your settings even more so that's pretty much it that was a quick overview of the udo CRM platform and the powerful tools that it offers you to grow your business.